G'day team, welcome to my um, recording studio, also known as the kitchen. Lovely acoustics in here, especially when there's no kids. So we're going to do loyal today. Um, there's been a few requests for uh, a bit of a um, bit of a tutorial on the good old Kiwi song Loyal by Dave Dobbin. All right, so I'll just um, I'll just run through it really quickly. If there's any questions or whatever, just make sure you post the post a, a question on there, and we can um, we can answer it for you. So we start up on the 12th fret, all right? It goes something like that, all right? Um, he uses harmonics most of the time, um, and if you don't know what harmonics are, it's just where you, you pluck a string, but you haven't actually put your finger fully down on it. So it has that nice ringing tone to it. Um, but I just prefer it's a bit of a cheats way, we just go, oops. So we just do that to start with. Then we go down to a C. I prefer it with a C with a um, little pinky on the bottom on the D string. So instead of playing that, we're playing that. I think that's how he plays it as well. And then we slide up to that D, um, which is also known as kind of the C chord, but just slid up to the third fret. Okay, so. And make sure you drop that pinky off once you slide it up, okay? So we're going. I'll just try and get my fingers a little bit closer for you. So, sorry. Just do that again. Sounds quite nice, eh? And then we go back up to... Slower. You sort of get the idea. What I'd do if I was you is I'd just run through those series of chords or that sequence over and over again till you're blue in the face and um, because a lot of that song is just built around those those chords. Okay, so we'll start start again. And then it does that again, and then we go into a to a G. shape and just slid up so we're going and I like to put the little finger on the bottom which is an A and you can sort of fart around a little bit with with um, different um, variations. If you're just sort of a beginner then keep it simple. Just keep the chords traditional um, but I quite like using that. That pinky gives it a nice um, sort of full full sound when you when you just add a bit of a, um, a bit of a G on, on the bottom of that C or you slide it up and, and put a, an A on the bottom as well. So we go It's not really 
well it's kind of a traditional G chord but it's um, just got those two fingers, one on the D string there and one on the G. Alright, so. Stepping down, um, you, if, you, if you can't do that step down thing, then it's perfectly fine just to go just straight onto an E minor, right, as opposed to I prefer to do that um, little step down onto that um, F sharp bass note, but it sounds perfectly fine without it. Back to a C. that one. Um, that's pretty much it and then just at the end when he comes in and he hits that so that's the very the very last one it's So it's it's pretty simple. I, well, I think it's pretty pretty simple um, sequence of chords. It just takes a lot of repetition, a lot of practice, and um, and you'll be able to nail it. Go Kiwi music.